Hey what's up coders welcome to one little coder today we're going to see an interesting stable diffusion tutorial this is a prompt based image in painting that is powered by clipsig what does it even mean so for example let's take robert pattinson who looks like this and then you want to change something in robert pattinson using stable diffusion what you used to do is you used to take a paint brush you know color it and then you used to create the change like you used to make the change but what you can do now is you can just say that you know what I want to change the shirt you can say that and then you can go ahead and then start giving different prompts and then that is going to give you some different kind of shirt for example the description might not match exactly the same but you can you can start giving uh, like uh, Indian pajamas I don't know if it's going to work but let's see um, so you can start giving prompts like this that will of course do the in painting for the segmented image that is already created by the algorithm based on the prompt that you just gave i mean it, it is doesn't match what you gave but it 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 changes so how does it happen so for this we are using a project called clipsig i'm not going to get into the details of clipsig but what clipsig does is it uses clip uh, clip clip from openai and then it tries to create image segmentation so i'm going to take you through this notebook um, google collab notebook this google collab notebook or the github repository will be in the youtube description please make sure you check it out i've designed it in such a way that you can just run everything um, and if you follow this tutorial you should be fairly fine uh, without having any issue the first step is we need to install git lfs git lfs is required for us to download the large size model weight then next we have to install clipsig um, or in this case we're going to download the entire repository of clipsig then we have to install uh, diffusers, hugging face diffusers library that's going to help us in, um, in, in creating stable diffusion models. Next, some helper libraries like transformers. Um, I, I was planning to build a Gradio application, but you know, it was, it was quite late already. So I, I'll probably do that in the next video. Once you are done with all those installations, um, like I can actually say that you have to do clip installation as well. You have to make sure that you install clip. Once you are done with all the installation, next thing is you need to do hugging face authentication. After you do hugging face authentication, enter into the directory for clipsig, and then make sure that you are inside the directory. And from there, you have to access models.clipsig, like all import everything, just run this and run this. The next step is it's going to download the clip model and uh, it's also going to download the model weights that is particularly required for this particular clip sig uh, for which is like clip powered segmentation or prompt based segmentation once we do that next we are going to download the stable diffusion model as well so at this point you know that you have got a model here where you have got the clip sig model and you have got pipe where you have got a stable diffusion pipeline setup the next thing is you just need to define where do you want the image from right now the code is written in such a way that you can give an input url like this and then that is going to get the image uh, resize the image for 512 by 512 and then store the image the next thing that you need to do is you need to uh, you need to save the image you need to save the image uh, somewhere uh, i'm trying to do it in the current working directory um, after converting the image so this is basically your input image if you are familiar with ima in painting image in painting you know that you need two images one you need the input image second you need the mask image so first thing is we have the input image at this point ready at this step at this step we have the input image so i'm just displaying the input image for us to just see how it looks the next thing is the important section where you have to specify what do you want to find or what do you want to replace in this like for example i can just simply say tie and i can run this and now this means you're trying to look for tie in this particular image uh, let's see if I, I don't know tie is quite small so i don't know if it is going to detect but then you run these things so this is where actually the prediction for tie or whatever object that you gave happens technically you can give more than one prompt as well like for example i can have one for shirt one for tie and then i can play around with it while i'm saving the mask image um, but right now i'm just giving one like for example i can say one for hair one for tie and then i can run this i can run this and I can run this. When I run this thing, you're going to see three tiles. The first one is the original image. The second one would be the image segmented for tile. 
and tie sorry the third one is for hair so you can have three different items but while you are going to save the image you need to make sure whether you are going to use the first one the second one because that is how you're going to save the segmented image this one now we are going to take this like let me save this now next thing is we are going to save take this and uh, we're going to say that i want to convert this into a mask image mask there are multiple ways to do it and then there are multiple precision at which you can do it like for example right now i've given 82 here this is more like mask precision um you can change it to 100 and then you can see how when you change it to 100 how does it look so you can make these changes and then see how does it look first step is read the file next step is um do the changes um i think it did not save let me check or maybe what i have not done is i have not um exited in it image show the image tie and hair okay okay i was doing properly i think percentage is not a lot cool okay so okay um save the mask sorry save save the mask it still shows the same thing so there is some issue happening while i'm trying to save the tile let me let me just quickly look at it um the mask image let me see ls where am i even okay so i'm i'm inside this and the mask image is actually inside this what i'm ideally supposed to do is i'm ideally supposed to do like this so that i can exit this uh, somewhere here i'll do, i'll do the exit and let me save the image here so that it is in the root folder it is in the root folder tie and then i'm going to save this mask image as well there um, that's that's a code fix while you're watching um ideally now when you run this thing it should show the tie yeah it shows this type then the next thing is you're going to load both the init image at this point we are a image segmentation is done we have successfully given a prompt and then we have made sure that we have image segmentation ready the next thing is um you can load both the init image and mask image and then just just for you know sanity um i'm just displaying the mask image again just to make sure that uh, the mask is ready so the next thing is i can say a red flowered tie this is the place where you actually give the prompt about what you want to replace it with and then your unit image mask image and the strength strength is another important parameter uh, I'll, I'll i'll get to the parameter later but imagine um like keep in mind that strength is one another important parameter for you to play with your image quality so if you see this total demo there are two important parameters for you um or three i should say one i should say four sorry one is a prompt that helps you in image segmentation second is the place where you when you create the mask what is the mask precision that you want to give and third is the place where you want to define what prompt it should be and fourth is the place where you have strength strength is basically the trade-off between your prompt and also the input image that you have given and in this case the precision is going to help you with how large it should go anti-aliasing and all these things like for example now we said red flower tie and we have got a red flower tie maybe i can say blue um flower tie i don't know what else people have blue tiled squares tie i don't know if there is a tie like that but let's see so so this is this is how you generate more images and uh, and that can actually like basically you can replace anything in an image if the image segmentation this this didn't necessarily work blue tile square image blue flowered tie so the idea here is once again just to repeat um first we're using a project called clip sig all thanks to the developers who has made it um, made the model weights also in the github repository so first we are going to use clip sig to automatically do image segmentation using prompt basically text and then using that segmentation we are creating an, a mask and we use that mask to make these changes this tie is so funny um so yeah let's let's end this video with the funny tie i'm going to link either this collab notebook or the github repository in the youtube description 
uh, please make sure that you check it out let me know if you have any issues um b because this is my own collab i can make changes and then i can uh, you know play around with it but at this point most likely when you do run one by one um the only place it would require your intervention is when you do the hugging face login but everywhere else i think it should automatically work and then you can just keep on changing the url prompt and then you can go ahead with it like for example right now i've got tie if i want to do it for hair then um, all i have to do is instead of zero i have to put one here uh, or in fact like i can show you um instead of let me let me even show you with a different image so i can go look for a different image uh, instead of robert pattinson maybe i should i should go with a different image altogether so mm -mm. let me go with this image and um, this image looks good to copy the image address i'm going to come back here i'm going to paste the image address so that you know that you know it actually works and i can run this now i'm not going to go out there outside the repository i'm going to run this and i'm going to run this now what do i want to capture i want to capture the suit or a shirt shirt i want to run this and this is the place where i actually see can see whether the segmentation works fine at this place and i can see the segmentation is pretty fine and now i'm going to create the mask and when i create the mask i can see um once again whether it works fine it looks it works fine run this at this point i can say what do i want to give i can say uh, blue flowered holiday shirt and then run this and see how the output image is going to look like so this is this is our pretty much input image one thing that you need to keep in mind is your image is going to be resized 512 by 512 so if you take an input image that looks in this is this is not that kind of shirt uh, what i expected blue flowered holiday shirt um and again you can you can definitely play with uh, like for example you can play with strength and then you can you can see how when you change the strength how the trade off between or uh, how the weightage between the prompt and the shirt also changes so you can play with strength with the same prompt to see how it impacts like you can you can see now um the input image was like this now now it looks it looks in fact like much better like it it looks much much better than uh, blo flowered holiday shirt let's see how what happens so this is this is how basically you can play with the, the strength and also the when you have like when you're going to do segmentation something like hair i think it's very important for you to play with play with the uh, precision mask precision that will help you handle this anti aliasing and all those things um, but overall i think this is a this is a very very interesting project for me at least and um, i really i really enjoying putting this together um it, it was quite it was quite interesting to see that th i have made a separate tutorial on the same with dali using an hathway where we change the dress uh, leather jacket but to, to see that this is possible with um, um, stable diffusion is amazing I wouldn't say this is quite perfect the whole point of making this tutorial or also making this project open source is that anybody can play with this i hope this video was helpful to you any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise i hope you enjoy this project see you in the next one safe